Hey guys, Magnus Robert here. We're rocking in the alternative town. And today, we're going to buy the Canine College with Emily Winthrop. Pretty excited for this one. I actually can't wait. Uh, big character to add for sure, so very cool. If your dog is misbehaving, just give a light tug on the choke chain. Just make sure it's not around your neck at the time. Emily Winthrop. So she goes into dog days. I will do uh, McGriff once they release it on iOS. As I know this this town's on Android, but I don't do super premium stuff on this tra on this town. Um, so I need to get it on my actual town. But for some weird reason, there's a glitch at the moment where McGriff just isn't appearing in the iOS store, only in the Android store. So uh, that will come at a later date. And then it's Emily Winfroff's Canine College Yankin Choke Chains. And it's all dog barking. Mrs. Winfroff, your training has been so good for our new dog. Harsh, but very wise. The next step is to take the dog for a walk. Ah, of course, to see and smell all the things in the world around her. All the things in the world she cannot have. It's good for cursing the sp crushing the spirit, even. So make Emily Winfroff walk the dogs. Just going to have to close that. So, she is pulling her chain. She falls over. There's a man there with her dog. And and then he goes away. And then he comes back. And they both fall over. And then it repeats. Interesting. Hey, Mrs. Wimfroff, how goes the dog biz? The dog biz is a bust. Things at the Canine College have been on a bit of a decline since you and Santa's little helper were there. It's Santa's little helper, and that's not too bad. Oh, did she say something else? I must have actually read it as the actual thing. So I've decided to branch out and take on some non-canine clients. Speaking of, here's my next appointment now. Oh, oh, oh joy. Ah, for his cat. Catch's cat. I'll work with the cat, but... I get the feeling it's the cat's owner who needs some help. Hisses. So, make Emily Winthrop attempt to train a cat. I can see that I, I'll need to think differently with this cat. Perhaps a Prolovian approach would be best. Rings bell. Chow time? Leaves. I don't have much experience training opossums. He's quite cute. What's his name? It's Bitey. <laughs> but you know how people name things the opposite of what they are? Yes. Bites. Ah! We didn't do that with this one. So, make Emily Winfroff try not to get bit. I really like the animation as well. I really dig this animation for the building with the dogs. This is just, yeah, this is really cool. This is a great building, and I really like how they've uh, fenced it off and stuff. I don't know, something about that makes it just ten times easier to decorate. You don't have to think about, you know, especially with like, the building limit as well. I actually really appreciate buildings like this that kind of just, you don't really need to do much to them to decorate them. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm really fond of this building. Miss Mr. Simpson, your possum is now perfectly trained. That will be $200. $200? But he's not moving. Bites Homer. Ow! Oh, perfectly trained to play dead. Cash or credit? I've done my best with the training, but nothing has worked. Perhaps your expertise might do the trick. Help me understand. Is it an octopus or a parrot? Oh no! <laughs> it's both. I'll need to know how. how I need to know which end is up. Cooping noise. Never mind. I just figured. I just figured it out. Train the octoparrot. That's a funny one. I like that. <laughs> she traded the octoparrot. And then... Ooh, five parts. I must warn you, Mrs. Bloomfroth, my new pet is not like anything you've worked with before. I just crate, I just crate trained an octoparrot, so I think I've seen it all. Very well. Kafui, come out in here. <laughs> Kafui snarls. Ah, all right, I may need my stool and a pistol for this one. <laughs> Test out new training tools. Okay. She's got like a taser. <laughs> She's testing out a taser. 
And while she's got like, a whip. <laughs> and the taser again. She's got another one, maybe? Let's have a look. Come on. She's got to have a third one. Oh, yeah. What's that? Can't actually tell what that is. Oh, weird. Sit down. Roll over. Ugh, I wish you would understand simple commands. Maybe if you tried asking nicely. You can talk? Of course I can talk. Why didn't you say anything before? Because you're only given commands. A conversation is a ballot uh, of give and takes. The student has become the master. <laughs> do you know what? That was a that was a pretty good quest line. I was wondering what they were gonna do because like her job. No offense to any dog trainers out there. It's very boring. Like there's not much you can do to kind of spice up that quest line. And I think they did a really good job with that one. That was uh, pretty exciting. Well, not exciting, but it was kind of funny. Anyway. Pay top dollar for designer dog bones. Lull dogs into false sense of security. Over play sex in the beach. Take the swallado. Attend coffee meetup. Walk the dog. Dance the senior burns. Test out dog training tools. Tighten all choke all the choke chains. And give out passive aggressive dog awards. I I'm pretty happy with what they did with Emily Winfroth. Great building. Really cool character. The test out new equipment animation isn't like amazing, but it's an okay animation. I just maybe one kind of more a bit more sp spicy uh, animation might have been nice. But honestly, overall, I think she's like an eight out of ten. She's an eight out of ten. I think she's pretty damn solid. So um, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Tell me your thoughts on Emily Winfroth and the Canaan College, and I shall see you in the next one. Good bye.